In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase larger than life. If you describe a person as being larger than life, it just means that when they come into a room, they kind of fill the room. You definitely notice when someone who is larger than life is around. Um, if someone is larger than life and they are at your party or they are visiting your house, usually they are fun to listen to. They tell good stories. They laugh a lot. You can hear their laughter from far away. Um, and they tell really good jokes, and you are just happy when they are around. I have an uncle who is larger than life. When he comes to visit, you can hear his deep laughter from far away. He is just a very enjoyable person to be around. He is definitely larger than life. Um, sometimes we use this phrase to describe celebrities as well. You could say that you met Tom Cruise and he was larger than life. So anyways, larger than life. And then another phrase that I wanted to help you learn today, uh, another English phrase, hang on for dear life. Um, once when I was younger, I went for a ride with a friend of mine on an ATV or a four wheeler, you might call it. Um, and I had to hang on for dear life because he drove really, really fast. So when you say you need to hang on tightly, uh, it means that you are holding someone with all of your strength. And if you want to describe it another way, you could say that you need to hang on for dear life. Sometimes um, when I ride on a wagon on the farm, when I was a kid, when I would ride on a wagon, I would have to hold on for dear life. So we can use hold on, I guess, as well. Hang on for dear life and hold on for dear life. Um, so I had to hang on for dear life or I had to hold on for dear life so I wouldn't fall off the wagon. So again, if someone is larger than life, it just means they have a really big personality. And if you go for a ride or if you ride in a vehicle or on something else where you go really fast, you might need to hang on for dear life. Sometimes when you go on a roller coaster, you need to hang on for dear life. Hey, the comment today is from Vinicius Rias, and Vinicius says, Bob, thanks for the lesson. Can I replace nowadays to in this day and age? So uh, this is from the lesson where I talked about the phrase how in this day and age means right now. And you could certainly use the phrase or the word nowadays instead of in this day and age. You could say um, something like nowadays, uh, young people are very, very kind and helpful when they are helping people who are older than them. So you could say in this day and age, that means now, or you could say nowadays. Excellent. Um, and I think I replied, yes, you can. It means exactly the same thing. So yes. Uh, thank you, Vinicius, for that comment and question. Um, and remember, if you leave a question under this video, um, I read through the questions that you leave and I will choose one for the next video. Um, anyways, it's for time for Bob to talk at full speed or normal speed. What I wanted to tell you today is that today is a really busy day for us on the farm because tomorrow is market day. So we grow flowers and we sell our flowers at a farmer's market in a local town. So the farmer's market is tomorrow. So today is the day where we do a lot of arranging of flowers. So we have a lot of flowers in the cooler right now. We have cut most of the flowers that we are going to sell. We've cut them yesterday, the day before, the day before, and they all go into a big cooler so that they stay fresh. Uh, and today is the day where Jen uh, and a couple of my kids will just make lots of bouquets. So they'll do a ton of bouquet work in the barn. Um, they will take all of the individual flowers, put them together into a nice bouquet, put an elastic on the bottom, uh, and then tomorrow uh, they will load up the van and they will head off to market. I'm currently not going to market uh, on our market day because um, it's kind of limited because of COVID. Not a lot of people can go. But anyways, uh, we are definitely in full production mode here on the farm, making as many bouquets as we possibly can. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another English lesson.